Would you walk home with me? Uh-huh. Rudolph. I think you're cute. I'm cute. I'm cute! Magnificent! Your tree, uh, I mean, Mrs. Hopewell, is going to be all right. That's what you think, children! Seize that woman! Stand back, you fool! Oh, no! What happened? <laughs> Don't you hand me! <laughs> Very funny, Bodhi Brain. Now, if you'll excuse me... <laughs> I'm going to make the biggest, best snowman ever! Hey, where's all my snow gone? But I am an aviator! Oh. And I haven't got quite enough silver of my own, thank you very much. So do your very worst and go to the devil! Besmirching the honor of a young girl for shame. It's not what you think. We didn't... That's right. All we did was kiss. Didn't we love her? Uh, well, at least you... I demand you take responsibility. Yeah, you can't just do it <laughs> You're so eloquent, dear Badger, and so moving and so convincing. I faithfully promise that the next time I see a motor car, off I go in it! Pony Day! I don't think so. People would love Pony Day. Just saying it is fun. Pony Day, Pony Day, Pony Day. Pony Day! Aww. Oh, it makes him feel so much better. I know, darling. Maybe next year we can afford it. But Tommy will just die if he doesn't get his harmonica. Don't say that, darling. You know how very, very sick Tommy is. Do you remember what Peter Pan did when Tinkerbell was so sick? Yeah, I remember. He asked all the people out there to help Tinkerbell get well. Right. So that's what we're going to do right now. What do you think? Do I need a fur trim? I'm going to find out what other people do to be nice. I should be back in a few minutes. Ta-ta. What people? People? What about hamsters? Chucky, let's go. Fine, I'll go. But not without one of these. Hey, those are for customers only. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. Now, did you, Santa Claus? <laughs> oh, damn, wait! <gasps> oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are thy branches. Cool! Cool! Cool, cool! It can't be! It just can't be! Santa's just a smelly old guy in red pajamas! There's just no way he could have known! <laughs> Thought I'd come in, you know. Buy some cup of noodles off ya? That is, unless you want to give them to me for free. <clears throat> for free? Uh, are you crazy? I gotta live off these all month, lady. I see! Hey, guess what? I love you. What a man. Thank you. <laughs> Please go now. <laughs> Santa must have got all muddled up. Yes, it must have been Santa. But why would Santa give us the wrong presents? I suppose Santa must have been so busy he mixed them all up. Oh, silly Santa. Uh, let's see, next on the list, uh, twin Ferraris with custom plates, a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde chemical set, a jet roller skates, a second-hand diamond. Just because you can't understand something, it, it doesn't mean it's wrong. Ten more demerits. You make all the rules and nobody else can say anything. You've said it plenty, boy. All that popping off just cooked your goose, okay? <laughs> From now on, young Hobbs is your squire. In the name of my most royal majesty, I knight thee. Arise, Sir Loin of Beef. Arise, Earl of Cloves. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Crabble French jump. Ooh, 
I love him. She knows everything. She's full of black magic. She can even make herself invisible. Might be in this room right now. I just don't think I can take that kind of rejection. Hey, listen, no one's getting replaced. This is Andy we're talking about. It doesn't matter how much we're played with. What matters is that we're here for Andy when he needs us. That's what we're made for, right? Let's get something straight. I'm the oldest and the smartest. So I get to see Santa first. Oh. oh. Well, then, you were cheat. You told Miss Matron that you were going to be my foster mother. You promised. <gasps> Hey! Hey, you! Me? You look a lot like a puppet I saw once. Name was Pistachio. That's Pinocchio! Oh, please, Bella! I won't be long! Oh, but I want to go back inside the toy shop too, Bella. Oh, don't you yeah. allow me to go back in? No. Commander Cosmos is bound to need rescuing again. Oh, well, you can't all go in at the same time. Well, we'll go one at a time. Yeah. Me first. Oh, yes, please, yes, because what? we need to go home soon. Yeah, please, please, Bella, 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 please, this is literally so bad right now. Mario, don't worry. It can't get any worse. Shut up, bitch! Happy Hanukkah, buddy tag! Timmy? Jimmy, where are you going? I'm going to poop in the van. Oh, no, you're not. Well, then go get a cat piano. But they don't have a cat piano. Go get one! Oh, okay. <laughs> Such a menace! Ginger Jeffy is crazy! I know! What's wrong with uh, him? Well, you got what you wanted! What do you mean? You wanted a new Jeffy! Yeah, you let me go! Not like this, though! Oh my god, I guess New Year, New Jeffy for real in a bad way! Oh my god, Jeffy, are you gonna be chill? Uh, yeah, Daddy, I'll be chill. You promise? Yeah. Okay, fine. There, be chill. Hey! Ah! Ah! Yo, I'll drink all three of my energy drinks. Who did this? Oh, yeah. That will be me. At least I can count on you. This is very sweet. I hope you like it. I looked everywhere. Geriatric, you're not going to live to get any more gray feathers. What sort of fool do you take me for? I don't know. What kinds are there? Shut up. Oh. Shut up. Where's that bar? Yes, Mrs. Simpson, we can remove your son's tattoo. It's a simple routine involving lasers. Cool. For years, I've had this honeymoon cottage, Ebenezer. I've been waiting for you to keep your promise to marry me. Now I must know, have you made your decision? I have. Your last payment on the cottage was an hour late. I'm foreclosing the mortgage. Oh boy, Randolph the Burgundy Mouth Christmas Elk! And Stevie, I got you the best gift of all! <gasps> Did you get me friends? Uh, you know what? It's pretty much the end of my night. The fire then spread to the potatoes and mash. Soon the whole dinner was alight in a flash. So after the fire was extinguished with gravy, they rescued dear Matt, still screaming like a lady. Not so fast! Tell me the rest of the story, or you'll end up like that little elf. Is that thing even loaded? Eh, probably not. Tune in next time to see if Anthony gets shot and dies. Just kidding, he survives. Dad would chop down the tree. Chores. Mom would fix up the meal. Work. 
Doc Boy would get in the way. Fighting. Big, fat, hairy deal. There was no burglar. No burglar? Hey, what does he mean? What are you talking about? I accidentally burned up the tree and the presents. I'm really sorry. Why, you owe it all! Lisa, no! Your hands are too weak! <laughs> What's the matter with your face? Is that a fake nose? Are you wearing chin putty? I don't have to listen to these wild allegations. If you want to talk to the manager, why don't you just knock? There's nothing to talk about. Why the heck don't you just make something up then? You don't think that would have stopped Coach Mataka now, do ya? Sorry, but I'm not that kind of person. Yeah, or maybe you just ain't got no guts. I tell you, you're pathetic. No sweat, Bunty. I'll sort those lights. I was going to stay and finish the stage anyways. That's the spirit. Well, good night, all. I shall see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Come along, Mr Bucket. <gasps> oh. Night, Bunty. Sleep tight. OK. Christmas lights. Take two. <sighs> and here you see the source of all the ecological mischief in this town. The Hashcam Soap Factory. Oh, I want to see the little moon guy again. Uh, no. Ah, f***ing Stevie. Seriously? Guys, you know I saw you and can still hear you, right? Come on, let me in. I'm freezing my holly jolly butthole out here. Shut the hell up, Stevie. Binky, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be in this fantasy. Oh, sorry. Try my peach cobbler? Get out! <laughs> Like laundry soap. Uh, let's not worry about that now, Deed. It's Christmas.